Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do this look today that is inspired by spring and summer makeup which is the opposite season that we are currently in in Australia. But nevertheless I am going to start by toning my skin with the Antipodes Facial Toner and following that up with their um, Vanilla Pod Hydrating Day Cream. This is a beautiful, beautiful moisturizer if you do shop in Priceline or anywhere that, do sell, um, that does sell Antipodes. It's a beautiful moisturizer that sits really nice nicely under the skin. I'm also going to be prepping my under eyes today by using an eye cream and I find this helps just a little bit with any of those prominent lines um, and it helps also smooth over my um, concealer as well. So that was the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. And I'm also following it up with a primer as well just to make my makeup last all day long. So I'm using the Benefit Professional, a cult favorite and a personal favorite of mine. Then for foundation today, I'm using the Kryolan TV, uh, TV Paint Stick. Um, this is, again, one of my favorites. I just love the finish of this. I think that it gives such a flawless finish to the skin. And even though it's... It looks like it's going to be a heavy foundation, but it's actually not. It sits really, really nicely on the skin and it sinks in so flawlessly. I just cannot recommend this stuff enough. So the best way I find to apply it personally is just with a synthetic brush. I find that it smooths over the skin quite nicely. If you want to use it with a beauty blender, you're more than welcome to. It works just as well, um, but I just like the look of it being pushed in with the brush. But total personal preference. Now, this stuff is actually not meant for the eyes, but I thought I would experiment with it today. This is the new uh, Benefit, the Dandelion Shy Beam, and this is a matte pink highlighter. Um, I thought it would be perfect for underneath the eyes as a color corrector, and to my surprise, it worked extremely well. I was really surprised with this. You can kind of see my face in my reaction. I'm like, mm, yeah, this kind of does work. <laughs> so if you want to use it as a corrector, go for it. Mix it in with your concealer, or just do it on the skin like I did. I think I'm going to just start mixing in with my concealer just to blend it in a little bit more nicely but it does make a great color corrector so for my actual concealer I love going in with a really yellow based concealer to highlight so this particular one is by collection and this is their lasting perfection concealer and I'm using the medium color which is number two and I've just put that in the triangle motion upside down underneath my eyes to further highlight my under eye area I do like a decent highlight underneath the eyes and I also like to highlight around my face as well just to help kind of balance out the highlight if it is just a little bit lighter than my skin and it can look a little bit weird I do like to highlight around the whole t-zone area and that just helps to kind of balance everything out and make it look not as weird that one section of my face is highlight and the rest isn't so just blend that out really really well with either your fingers a brush or a sponge whichever one you like and I have been obsessed with this product for baking. This is the Nude by Nature. This is their Mineral Finishing Veil. Oh my god, you guys. If you guys are into baking, give this one a go. It is so amazing. It is like... I just mm -mm, I just can't deal I love it so so much so I am just going to apply this all over the face with a um, damp sponge and while I let that set on my face I'm taking the Benefit Hello Flawless um, press powder in the color champagne and I'm just going to tap that around the rest of my face and that is just going to set um, pretty much everywhere else that I haven't baked pretty much so just set that in really well with a brush or it does actually come with a sponge and a brush in the compact which is nice but while I am doing that I have finished um, doing the rest of my face so I'm going to rub off all of that baking and then moving straight on to the cheeks so I've taken the Benefit Cheekathon palette and I'm taking Hula to start off with Hula if you guys haven't tried it before it is a fantastic fantastic cannot exaggerate that enough fantastic uh, bronzing and contouring shade. I absolutely cannot get over this stuff. It is amazing and it's also going to be used on the eyes today as well. So it's a very multi-purpose product and it is a great color. So for the blush today I am mixing Dandelion which is the really really pink one and Dallas which is a little bit darker. So I'm just going to mix those two and put them on the cheeks and blending it backwards. Thank you. 
Now, if you guys like a highlight where the heavens above can see you, this palette is for you. This is the Sleek Highlighting Palette, and I'm using Solis. I think that's how you say it. Solis. Solis. Doesn't matter how you say it because this palette is amazing and you need it in your life, like right now. Um, so I'm literally just going to drown my face in this. I'm going to put it all over the cheekbones, on the temples, on my cupid's bow, and all over my nose so the heavens above can see me. Thank you so much. So moving back into the Benefit Chica Thong palette, like I said, um, I am going to put this into my crease and I'm doing a very whimsical kind of easy blown out look today. So I'm just going to blend that straight into the crease and I'm actually going to be taking a smaller brush and taking hauler again and putting this directly into the socket and a little bit blown out on the outer V. Um, actually it just makes it look like it's a little bit of a darker shade but it's actually not. It's just because we've used a more precise brush that it looks a little bit darker. Weird but wonderful. And I'm also just taking that on a little fluffy brush and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line just so there is a little bit of something there so it doesn't look totally naked. Now this, I'm just going back in with this amazing palette. You guys need it. Like two seconds ago, it's fantastic. I'm using it as my inner corner highlight as well as my brow bone highlight today as well. It's very multi-use. I really do like putting this pretty much everywhere. Any excuse to highlight my face, I am all about that life. So I just put that on the brow bone and the inner corner. And this product here, I am currently obsessed with it is the Astralis Metalix um, cream eyeshadow in the color um, gold gaga oh my gosh I, I think it's just because it's like metallic and it's beautiful and I just cannot get over this color and these are seriously the easiest products you will ever ever work with they are incredible so just literally blend that all over the eyelid and that is it um, it also looks really nice in the inner corner as well um, so then quickly putting on a quick coat of mascara, I've taken the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Really nice for a little bit of volume, tiny bit of length, uh, but it is a pretty decent mascara, I must admit. Now, I've really been into corner lashes recently. I do love a good strip lash, but corner lashes are a little bit more convenient and a little bit quicker, and these are just one old pair that I've just chopped in half and used as corner lashes, and that is it. So easy. Then that is the eyes complete. Very easy and whimsical. I absolutely love how it looks. And then I've just moved on to the lips. This is one of the Krylon uh, face liners. I'm not too sure of the color. I'll leave it in the description box for you guys, but it's a really nice kind of neutral pinky nude color, and I'm just going to line and fill in the lips with that, and it's going to make a really nice base for this nude lipstick that I am using, which is by Avon. This is the Avon Luxe lipstick, and because it's quite a creamy formula, it does wear off quite quickly, so I do find if I have something underneath it as a base, I find that it lasts a little bit longer, and this is in Nude Slip to Die For absolutely love it but that guys completes this look it is so easy to do it literally takes me like 15 minutes in the morning it's just so quick and so easy and if you pop on a pair of corner lashes you guys will seriously look so done up and it really didn't take much at all so I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think in the comments down below again thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye guys